Okay, so time for the last match. We won the Dyro again. We got a decent hand. Gonna keep. I mean, I would prefer the hand to have a threat, but I think it's still too good to mulligan. A bunch of nice answers, cantrips to find something. Good mana. Basically everything we want except for a threat. And if we happen to play against an opponent where a twisted image kills something, even better. Alright. <coughs> How about land Noble Herrick? That is a land but probably not gonna turn into a noble herrick. Yeah, more likely into junk type stuff. Oh no, suicide. That's fine. So this will probably be a wild encounter. No. Not sure why he would do it that in that order. But alright. Just being a bit slow. Let's hope we don't die. We actually might die. Yep, we're dead. He has that rate we just die. That is impressive. So we want this, 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 and the cheap counters, I think. This is good. The spell snare is really bad. Twisted image is not great. Mana deep is really bad. <coughs> How good is Fork Bolt? I think not great. Or almost bad, I think. Probably just cut off fork bolts. Because I think we want to keep all the cantrips and all the other cards seem better. I mean, we could cut a bedlam reveler, for example, but I don't think that does too much. I'm gonna keep this thanks to the Zero Visions. Mm-hmm. I don't 
one from the Netherlands or another zero missions. We want some rigid action. Okay, let's see if we can do better this game. Our hand is a bit reactive and dirty. This was a nice find. So it's the harvest buyer, I think. So we can just bolt this without him. Saving it even with metagenic rose, which is pretty good. <coughs> so we at least are still stable and not under any pressure, which is good. And have a removal on top for the next threat, which also helps. This seems like uh, like he's gonna try and go for a death rattle. Yep, that works. So the amount of damage that he can, and uh, the amount of power that he can give it, probably will be somewhere around 6. I think that's the amount of damage that we should deal with. I think we just paper snack this and then deal 6 to this. Oh, that was actually kind of bad. I think we just wait. That was bad. Forgot that it grows at one uh, for one. And we have to spell pierce so we can just protect ourselves for one more turn. And so it's score to make sure the harvest pie still kills the death shadow. And it would have been kind of risky to try and kill it anyway because he can have stuff like that that he didn't show us because he didn't have to. That's the problem with Death Shadow. It's really hard to judge how big it can become in response to like damage based removal, size based removal, like this member. I think while he has the least cards, we just do this. And then I one, two, three, four. So we want to deal it eight, so ten. So all the cards. Plus spell pierce for the coming months. Actually, if he has mutagenic growth, we might still not be able to kill it. But we basically have to choose to play around metagenic rose or become immense. I think he doesn't have metagenic rose because he would have saved my cuddle. So I think he at best has become immense. 
So now let's hope he only has become immense. Because if he has another way to lose two life, then he could have saved it. Okay, he didn't. That's good. What? Whoa, well, apparently we somehow have sixth and did not play out ever, which is pretty bad because it could actually threaten to kill him in two turns. That was kind of bad for us. Yeah, if only that ever was in play. What? He did not take Diver, interesting. Let's see if Sword Score can mill or draw a lightning bolt and if it mills a bolt draw a snapcaster. Now our hand, we can just score now, and he will get us. Could get us to one if he wanted to, but he doesn't want to. And yeah, I think now we have to block because. I didn't think he like tried to trick us. I think he actually has become immense because that's the only reason I can see him taking spell pierce there. Okay. Then our deck and hope to find a way to kill him. Yes, got ya. Sweet. Sometimes lucky. That's like the only way bold matters basically in this matchup then it sometimes just kills the opponent. Hmm. Yeah, maybe try something like that. That seems reasonable. That looks pretty decent. Thing in the eyes is really good here. Because they don't have much removal, so it usually lives. And if it lives, it flips. And if it flips, we're happy. So we got Swift Spear and drew into a poor land, which is a bit unfortunate, but <coughs> still far from terrible. Let's see what it takes. thing which is kind of what I was afraid of. Yes. 
also it's not great but it's okay since it's a creature and lets us flashback harvest player after we killed <coughs> swift bear that's why I left a snapcaster on top Hmm. I think I'll try and leave both on top and try to like grind him out unless we die now, which is very possible. <coughs> yeah, he could easily go land becoming men's battle rage killers. Okay, that's fine. Okay, since I don't feel like dying, I think we just harvest player here to be safe. So if he has another mutagenic growth, he gets it to 4 or 5. So I guess we deal 5. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Anything else he can do? If he has become immense instead of mutagenic cross, it gets it to nine. I think we can actually deal it nine without too much risk. He won zero visions. Yeah, that seems good. That also leaves us with lightning bolt as an option. I think we ha should have a reasonable shot at winning this game. That is good. Hopefully not good enough. This is tough. <coughs> we can like try and snapcaster harvest by a block. But that loses to the becoming mens that I kind of think he might have. Then again, if he had a becoming mens, I think he would have killed us. So I don't think he has one. Does he? Hmm. Can bolt him to four, attack him to two. Also, block harvest pyre loses to Timo Battle Rage. She is not likely to have, but might have. Hmm. 
we can actually also try and like go to one and then harvest Paya the golf next turn. So we can fill up our graveyard and have this backup potentially. Hmm. I think we try and start with this. <coughs> Okay, he has bolt, but we have this spell. That's good. So we drew bolt. That is good. Really good, actually. I think we need to block this in case he has a battery so we can snapcast to dispel. Even though it might seem better to do it the other way around. Let's hope he's dead. Wonder what his hand cards are. Seems like he is dead. Seems like we got him. One life to zero. Yay. That was super tight. Whew. Okay. See you for the wrap-up discussion in a moment.